Hello, I'm Amy from the Kids' Corner, and today we are going to make corn husk butterflies. Our first step is to process the corn husk so that it's dry and flat. We will start by peeling our corn. And we can get rid of all the tassels. There's two different ways that you can do this. You can either leave this out in the sun and just let it dry and then iron it, or you can put it between the pages of a book, um, between pieces of paper to, to dry flat, much like you would press flowers. So this is what the, the corn husk looks like after it's dried in the sun for a few days. And we're just gonna trim it so that we have nice long um, pieces that we can flatten. So first just remove it from this middle stalk and we can just compost that. And then we're gonna trim each piece so that we get rid of this bottom part that, that can be hard to flatten and we get rid of the top where it um, goes into where it bunches a little bit. And any pieces that are all broken, you can just compost those. So now we're gonna iron our, our dried corn husk um, flat. So what you're gonna need is an iron, ironing board, and a piece of um, fabric. A, a, just a thin one just to put in between. We're gonna take our piece that we wanna iron and we're gonna flatten it as much as we can with just our hands. Set your iron to a medium low heat and we can go directly on the corn husk, but I find when you use a piece of fabric, um, it, it keeps it flatter. because it, it needs to cool down to stay flat or else it kind of cools. So I often will start by just doing a quick one without the fabric, just so that I can use my fingers to unroll the edges and then I put it under and just do one other pass. As that cools down I prepare my other one so I just carefully unroll it. And then you can see we have some nice flat dried corn husk that we can use to make butterflies. So if you don't have an iron or you don't want to use an iron to, um, to dry them, you can also dry them in a book like you would press flowers. So for this, you're going to take the fresh corn and trim it just like we did when it was dry. Trim off the ends. Then we're gonna take a big heavy book, turn it into the pages, lay down some newspaper, and lay down your corn stalk or your corn husk. As flat as you can. Paper over top and close your book. Um, this method's much more kid friendly since you're not using a hot iron but it takes a little bit longer. Um, you're gonna have to leave it pressed for about three or four days before it, it becomes dry. Um, and then you can take it out of the book and it will already be flat. If it needs a little bit extra flattening, you can always iron a little bit after. Okay, so now we're gonna make our butterflies out of our dried corn husk that we just prepared. For the butterfly, we're gonna need to make the top set of wings, the bottom set of wings, two body pieces, and two antenna. So for the top set of wings, they, they're ovals that point up. We're gonna draw the two wings together so that this is one piece. So we'll make one oval type shape and two, so something like that. And just carefully cut them out. And we end up with the top set of wings. Although butterflies vary a lot, often the bottom set of wings is a lot more round. So we're gonna make two circles this time. Something like that. And we end up with something like that. And for the body, you can just make a, a oval shape or you could make a little head. 
Um, we want two of these so that we can glue them sandwiched together. So I'm gonna take the corn and I'm gonna fold it in half to cut out the shape. I'm just gonna draw a head and a body that comes to a little point. And there's our two body pieces. Now for the antenna, we're just gonna cut two thin strips. So those are all the pieces we need to make the butterfly. So now it's time to glue our butterfly together. I'm just using regular school glue. I like to use a popsicle stick and a little um, jar instead of giving a kid the squeeze bottle. So I'm gonna start with one of the body pieces. And then just cover it with glue. The antenna. Now I'm just gonna start sandwiching that together. The top wings, the bottom wings, and then add more glue to the second body piece. Now corn husk tends to curl, so now that it's all glued, we're gonna sandwich it under a heavy, heavy book and paper again so that it just lays flat and the glue holds really good. So I just place my butterfly as carefully and flat as possible on the paper. I put my book there. And then after a few minutes, I'll, I'll move it just to make sure that that glue leaked out <clears throat> and is um, sticking to the paper. So now that we waited a few minutes, we can take our butterfly and carefully peel it off. And we see that it is now laying flat and we can let it dry. So these butterflies can be painted to make different local butterflies or any any fancy butterfly your kid can imagine. Um, they can be hung so that they're flying. You can make a bunch of them and hang them so that you have a, a bunch of flying butterflies and have fun with it. So go down to the farmer's market and get some fresh corn and save the husk for some eco crafts. Thank you.